Hello you and happy 1st of December. Welcome to a brand new series called Cozy's Christmas Coaster Calendar where I will be showing you a new tutorial every single day for, you know, Christmas related stuff and other tutorials like that. Now these will be daily videos. They won't be the most big, ma you know, biggest videos ever because these videos do take quite a while to make if I was to do them really big. But I'll be making a video every single day to celebrate Christmas with new tutorials on top of my normal videos as well so that means that some days you'll be getting more than one video a day which is absolutely ridiculous so I hope you're all excited today is the 1st of December and as you can see in the Christmas calendar on the 1st of December was a present right here so today I'm gonna to be showing you how to build a gigantic present in theme park tycoon 2 it's a pretty simple one and it looks really nice especially if you want something to just decorate your you know park with something quite big and simple to make so without further ado, let's get on with it. So what you want to first want to do right here is go into your scenery, get a primitive, and you want to colour this to whatever colour present you want to do. I'm going to do this one in yellow just to be a little bit different. I'm going to place then just one, two, three by three like so, just like this. And we're just going to bring that up right here, six tall. So all the way up like this until we're six blocks tall, which brings us to about right there and you can see that now means that we've got a bit of a box it doesn't look much like a present yet but we do have a box we obviously want to add our lid in right here so what we're going to do is just go into our advanced build mode right here by holding shift and just clicking in the eyedropper and we're just going to search for flat right here because this is what we need right next we need this little flat cuboid we want to bring it up on a quarter snapping right here and we just want to bring it out by a quarter on either side we want to bring that going all the way around our present going across quarter out on each side right here do keep in mind that of course you will have to have some overlapping but as long as you're not using any textures it won't really matter and you won't really be able to tell the difference once we've colored this here which we're going to do right now we're just going to color all of this to the exact same color that we've been using for the rest of our present right here so we're just going to cover it all like this not paint the ground I did not mean to paint the ground but what we're then going to do is actually bring this down so it's got a bit of a thicker lid because right now it's looking a little bit thin and um, so we're just going to go on to our uh, uh, quarter snapping again right here and just bring this down by three we want to do that going all the way around the present right here so that it has a nice thicker lid going all the way around it just looks a little bit nicer really um rather than just having the really thin little um rubbish <laughs> lid that we had before so we're just gonna add that going all the way around basically just how we did it before except from we want to bring it down two more so that it looks a little bit like this and then once you've got that all in like that there you go, pretty simple. We then want to come over to here and get our primitive cuboid wall, and if we just set it to half snapping and just default get a grid snapping on the vertical, we can just bring up this like so. I told you it was easy, didn't I? I mean, you know, it's literally it's easy as one, two, three, A, B, C. Uh, <laughs> but we're just going to bring that up through the middle on each of these sides right here, going all the way up so that we've got a nice stripe going through. Now I'm going to use white for our middle bit right here. Although feel free to use whatever colour or what are you want. Same with the rest of the present, you can do it red, orange, yellow, green, blue, it does not matter to me. You can do it to whatever colour you want. You can do the ribbon to whatever colour you want, but I, you know, uh, what always works really well is some sort of, uh, you know, bright colour like red or yellow or orange or something like that with a with uh, a nice white ribbon going down the side of it. But if you want to vary this up, you can obviously just change the ribbon and the actual main colour uh, of the, the presents, you know, and it makes it look a lot more interesting. So, what we're now going to do is if we just go into our drop, our hold shift, we can go onto half snapping and we'll just bring this up until we see it poke through just a little bit there. I'm just going to rotate it round and bring it over. So now we've got this right here. We can bring this going all the way across like here. Here. and then we can bring it over here and if we just go back onto a quarter snapping we can just line this up by going over like so and we can bring that going all the way across again like so looking pretty nice if I do say so myself now we want to click on our top wall right here just go onto a quarter snapping and bring that out by a quarter because now well we've got a nice little lip right here which is going to give us uh, the ribbon going around the actual lid because you know it doesn't make much sense if the ribbon just stops so we just want to bring that out by a quarter on every single side right here so we've got that little lip almost right here and then of course 
we want to bring that in by 0.2 so if we just change our custom snapping to 0.2 that can all be brought in going all the way around like so and there we go that's all that in and now that all, all that's left to do is actually connect these up so we're just going to do that by just bringing this across on no snapping all the way up to the edge of the ribbon and you can see that that completes the entire thing right here yes it was simple as that guys now all of the tutorials won't be as simple as this although i wanted to just start off with a nice simple one just so i could explain the idea of the video without it being like 10 minutes long so there you go guys there is a present in theme park tycoon 2 you can obviously shrink these down to whatever size you want by the way you can just bring it down and use poles instead of walls or something like that and you can make them half the size three quarters of the size a quarter of the size twice as big it does not matter you can do whatever you want right here um by just changing the sizes of everything and just experimenting and you'll get there eventually but that's everything for today guys i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have please do leave a like and subscribe be very much appreciated especially if you're excited for the rest of cozy's christmas coaster calendar which by the way is a mouthful to say but if you're excited do leave a like and subscribe comment down below what you think is going to be on tomorrow and i'll see you all in another video goodbye